I'm John Huffman and this is the Johnny Jib. This is our 15 foot Johnny Jib 2 and this particular model can take one more section for a Johnny Jib 18. We also have the Johnny Jib Pro model which will go up to 30 feet. We have a Sony HDV camera on this one which we'll show you in just a minute but before we get up there let's start at the rear and talk about the controls for the pan and tilt head. We've got a uh, pan and tilt control here with speed control and we also have a length control on this particular model. We can also handle cameras with uh, ENG removable lenses or interchangeable lenses with a different style control. Here's a spot here for your counterweights, which are just flat plate weights that you can buy at your local sporting goods store or uh, any store that sells uh, exercise equipment. This is sitting on a Bogan tripod. It's a standard 100 millimeter bowl with a dolly. And next we have our Johnny Jib power distribution box, which takes the 12 volts from the power supply and distributes it to all the components on the jib. You can also buy an optional Anton Bauer mounting kit that mounts at the pivot point here, and you can use a brick battery to power everything on the jib if you're uh, not around commercial power. You can also mount a monitor on the Johnny Jib so you can see what your uh, camera is seeing. This is a 9 inch model. We also have 7 inch monitors. And we've even had people that use a 15 inch monitor here uh, for larger viewing. The uh, jib is in four foot sections and they overlap one foot. So each section gives you three foot of height or feet, three foot of reach. And all the tubes are aluminum, powder coated. Um, and they telescope into each other so they store uh, small like a tripod would store in a small uh, area. We also have the Johnny Jib wiring kit and that takes all the signals from the front of the jib to the back as well as the controls from the back to the front for the pan and tilt and for the zoom and focus. We have our leveling cable and that just keeps the platform out on the end level the Johnny Jib doesn't require any cantilever cables, so you won't see those on the Johnny Jib. The mast is stout enough to handle any kind of wobble. There's no wobble on the jib when you stop abruptly or if you go up and down quickly. It doesn't need any uh, wire stabilization. And as we move out to the end of the jib, we have the motorized pan and tilt head. This particular model will handle a 20 pound camera. And we also have a 30 pound model and a 10 pound uh, motorized head. This one again has the Sony uh, HDV camera on it and all the cables. I'll flip this around here so you can see the back. And all the cables just loop down off the jib. It gives you plenty of room to do 360 uh, tilts and pans and everything just plugs into the camera. We provide Velcro to dress your cables up. So when you're done, the jib looks nice, sleek, and it's ready to operate without catching on uh, obstructions and things that might be in your way. So that's the Johnny Jib 2. My name's John Huffman from Johnny Jib, and thanks for watching.